Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This week does indeed mark six months since the avoidable and tragic fire at Grenfell Tower, which took the lives of 71 people and injured and traumatised many more, and I too will be at the service tomorrow in memory of them. But that fire also shone a light on the neglect of working class communities all over this country. And since this government came to power, homelessness is up by 50%. Rough sleeping has doubled. Homelessness and rough sleeping have risen every single year since 2010. Will the Prime Minister pledge today that 2018 will be the year when homelessness starts to go down? Across this House, we don't want to see anybody who is homeless or anybody who is sleeping rough on our streets. That is why the Government is putting £500 million into uh, the question of homelessness. It's why we backed the bill that was brought forward by uh, my honourable friend, the Member for Brent, uh, uh, sorry, for Harrow. Uh, and it's why we have ensured that we are putting into place a number of projects that will deal with this issue of rough sleeping. But I have to say to the right honourable gentleman that when we look at the question of housing, we need to look at ensuring that there are more homes available to people, that we are giving people support to get into those homes. That's why in the budget, my right honourable friend, the, Ch the uh, Chancellor, set out a whole range of ways in which we will be helping people to ensure that they have their own roof over their heads, compared to Labour, where house building went down by 45%. Where the number of homes bought and sold went down by 40%, and social housing went down by 400,000. Jeremy Corbyn. Mr. Speaker, the last Labour government cut homelessness by two thirds during its time in office. When Labour left office, the number of children in temporary accommodation was a lot less than it is now. Yep. I asked the Prime Minister for a pledge to reduce the amount of homelessness next year. The pledge was not forthcoming. Yep. 128,000 children will spend Christmas without a home to call their own, 60% up on 2010. It's too late for this Christmas. But will the Prime Minister promise that by Christmas 2018, fewer children will be without a home to call their own? Yeah. Say to the right honourable gentleman again that we of course want every child to wake up in their own home, particularly at Christmas. But it is incredibly important. People know they can keep a roof over their heads, even in the most desperate circumstances. That's why we're making sure that councils can place families in a broader range of homes if they fall into these circumstances. So since 2011, councils have been able to place families into private rented accommodation so they can get a suitable place sooner. We've changed the law in relation to uh, uh, so that families with children shouldn't find themselves in B&B accommodation except in an emergency. And through implementing the Homelessness Reduction Act, we're making sure our families at risk can get support before they find themselves homeless. And I say to the, the uh, honourable gentleman, I have been very clear, as I was uh, a, a few weeks ago, that this government is going to be a government that puts a clear focus on housing, yeah. on building the homes that people need, on ensuring, yeah. on ensuring that people are given help yeah. to get into those homes, and also on acting to prevent homelessness before it happens. That's what we're doing. That's what will make a real difference to people's lives. Yeah.